and welcome to my impromptu and yet very successful op shop haul. <laughs> Yesterday I went out to check out a new fabric store that I hadn't been to yet and along the way there's a few op shops so I thought I'd stop in and see what I could get. I love buying fabric from op shops, thrift shops, because you never know what you're going to get but what you do get is likely to be cheaper than stuff you'll find in the fabric store. Don't eat the zip. <laughs> it's not helpful. No! There's pins in that. Good boy. Come here. So I was able to find a fair bit of fabric and also some random notions that can come in handy and a good tap. Stop eating scissors. <laughs> Pin! Oi! I was able to find not only some fabric but also a whole bunch of zips and some lace and a couple of patterns and I'll show you what I got here and tell you how much I got it all for. So first up is this lovely blue, I think it's a taffeta, I'm not very good at what fabric actually is, I don't know that yet. <laughs> so this. It feels like a taffeta and it feels like um, a 50s dress so I feel like it could be and it had a, quite a few stains in it as well so I feel like this could have been in someone's stash for quite a while and is possibly a 50s taffeta but I just loved the random wavy pattern in it let's see and yeah and I got all this for $10 the next biggest piece I got was probably this uh, sequined lace. I don't know if you can see slightly. It's white or just off white with sequined flowers and a sequin border all along it. Don't eat the pencil! <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh my goodness. And this one was five dollars for all of this. <laughs> Don't let your dog in the sewing room, people. This one I grabbed, I have no idea what I'm ever going to use this for, but I thought it was too good to just leave it there. <laughs> it's this very 80s colouring and it's actually sheer in the black spots and then the stripes are uh, blocking. And I just thought, look, I'm probably never going to find this in Spotlight or anything. I'm going to grab that. It was $2, so, you know, I thought it was great. Now this one I grabbed, and it's a nice blue cotton something, no idea. And I just grabbed it, and then when I got home and unfurled it, I realised there's a whole nother pre-cut section in there that someone must have cut off when they were using it so now I have two pieces of it um, again no idea what this one I'm going to use for but I just thought it had a nice feel and it's a beautiful colour so, and that was two dollars for all of this this was another one that I just thought was too beautiful to leave a gold <laughs> you can't see but Flint's here chewing on the fabric this <laughs> gold um, I guess it's a brocade but I got a fair bit of that one as well this keeps going and this one was four dollars and I don't know might make a vest out of it or a bodice Flynn Flynn don't eat that Come here! Come here! Come here! Look at this innocent little face. Eating all the fabric. <laughs> okay. Nope, two more fabric. Stick up, don't eat the pattern. Oh, good scratches. Don't eat the fabric. Don't eat the 
teacup. Goodness gracious. Wow. <laughs> Don't eat the shoe. Goodness gracious, child. You chew? I've taken all the things you can chew away. Also a brocade was this cream or off-white one. It just feels really nice. Like most brocades are heavy. And this one, I don't know if it's just been washed a lot and stuck in someone's stash, but it feels really light. Or maybe it's not a brocade, it's some other type of fabric that I don't know. But I thought it was pretty and could make a really nice bodice for a kirtle or something like that so there's not a whole lot in this one like what just over a meter and that was three dollars also one that i thought could be good for a kirtle bodice was this green i think it's a cotton drill so it's about oh there's probably a bit more in this one but it's that sort of heavier fabric um and that was three dollars so I also might make a kirtle or bodice, maybe corset out of that. And then the final piece of fabric that I got was this sort of suiting material. I'm not sure of its composition, but it's a grey blue with a brown stripe through it. And I got this for a specific reason. This is the only fabric that I actually have an immediate purpose for. And that's to make a skirt to match a vest. I got some fabric probably two months ago from the op shop that I was like, this is going to be a beautiful vest. And since then I've been on the lookout for some fabric to match, but it's like a blue, gray, brown wool check. So it's not been super easy, but this one, I don't know if you can see, it's got these brown stripes and it's that bluey gray, so it might not match. I didn't have the fabric with me to match to in the shop, but I thought $3, there's enough here to hopefully make a circle skirt, which is my favorite type of skirt. So I grabbed it and we'll see if it matches. I have to make the vest out of the other fabric. Also, I haven't done that yet, just have fabric. So that one. So that was all the fabric I got. Um, okay, so I was, I was wrong. That wasn't all the fabric I got. Well, it was at the time, but then there was just one, one bit of fabric that I saw and I walked away from because one, it was $50 and two, it wasn't entirely my colouring, like not, I don't normally go for this colour of fabric, but then I figured, um, this, <laughs> it's a full bolt of this, um, taffeta, maybe? Um, and it's yeah it feels nice there's a lot of it and I figured even if I don't use it for something for me it will come in handy for uh, design so but then again if I don't use it for design then I'll use it to make some sort of ball gown like 1830s 1840s I could be wrong entirely in my decades but yeah so that is everything and back to everything. Hi, hello, me again. I just did some maths on what I got because I wanted, I was curious to see how much I actually saved. And it was a lot. <laughs> so all up on fabric, I spent $83. It was $50 for that massive big roll. And I think it was 33 for the rest of the fabrics and that's not counting the zips and the notions that's just fabric so the random bits of fabric they all together came up to roughly $443 worth now none of this is exact because obviously this fabric isn't online with an exact price match but my best guess as to what it is and how much it generally goes for like how much fabric there is and the per meter price um, the prices came from Spotlight, Etsy, FabricOnline.com. They were, that was that, and then <laughs> this, I unrolled it, all of it, and measured it, and there is 24.2 meters here. So, <laughs> just a little bit. 
My best guess is that it's a two-tone taffeta or a shot silk, but it's not actually silk. Well, I'm assuming it's polyester, not true silk. So a two-tone polyester taffeta. Prices vary, but the most common price I found was that $20 to $30 range for this sort of one and there's 24 meters here so that equals $720 worth just in this one roll that I got for $50 um, so that brings everything up to $1163 for my $83 worth <laughs> crazy um, I also grabbed Quite a few, what is it, four, five zips, five zips, good, good counting. Um, five zips, they were all a dollar and they're just different colors, a couple of different lengths. I find it's really handy to have quite just a few random colors and lengths because I'm a last minute project type of person and I like to start them without actually thinking it through. So if I have, what are you doing now? <laughs> Yeah, so zips, different sorts, nice to have in stash. I have no idea how I'm gonna edit this. This is grand. Other notions I grabbed were some hooks and eyes and some snap closures in different sizes. These are old ones, which I've heard are apparently can be a lot better than the modern ones because I don't know, different materials, different makings. But yeah, this was a dollar for these ones and the dollar for these ones. There's a couple different sizes in there. Again, stash builders. I don't know what I'm going to be doing over the next little while, so collection of everything. I also got this green, just cotton twill tape. It was a dollar. There's 1.4 meters in there, and um, I use the cotton twill tape to hold up pockets when I make circle skirts because otherwise. If you put a phone in, the pocket droops and everything falls out. So, and some lace. So this was three meters for three dollars, but I just thought it was a very beautiful sort of lace. Can you see? Hang on. Wait for it. Here we go. No. <laughs> yeah. I just thought it was really pretty, simple, delicate lace, and I'd love to make one of those lingerie dresses that's been going around lately or even just a shirt with a lot of um, lace insertion so I thought there's a good start because you need a whole lot of lace for those things so I thought I'd start collecting now I also got some applique fabric I've never used this before, I have no idea how it works but I figured I might need it next this year I figured I might need it this year, seeing as I'm doing my diploma in fashion design, um, and you never know if you might need something like this, and I thought there's a decent amount in there for a dollar. It's better than getting it new from the shop. <laughs> and then lastly, I got a couple of patterns. I love finding old patterns. They're amazing. You never know if they're complete or not or have been cut to the wrong size, but you get an idea of the shape and it's always fun. So this first one is a little tennis dress. It's a simplicity pattern and I just thought it was great and it also comes, can you see, it also comes with a pattern for some bloomers. <laughs> so I thought it was really cute and who doesn't love a little tennis dress? And then this one is what looks to be a 70s pattern, just judging by the no. Outfit and I no. really I just love this shirt. It's a high neck with puffy sleeves and cuffs and I thought it was stunning So we will put these in and give them a go at some point and There we go. That was everything I got from the op shop. I did not go out with the plan of getting this much stuff but as I said I start my diploma of fashion Next week, week after, depends when this video goes out. I may have already started. 
and I thought it could be great to build up my stash because I don't have lots of little bits. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you're on the hunt for some stuff, check out your op shops or thrift shops and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Flynn, where you at? Oh, he's on. <laughs>